Google Translate has a brilliant feature in it that I use almost on a daily basis. Most teachers and students don't seem to realize this exists and it is ideal if you are a language learner or a language teacher. I'm going to show you the feature and then I'm going to quickly show you three ideas of the way that I use this and link it with other tools. Really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it, please share it, please comment on it and of course join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So let's start by opening up Google Translate. So go over to your apps and you should see it amongst your apps. Uh, mine's here, click on that and that will open up Google Translate for you. Let's just very quickly go through a couple of things. You obviously can choose the language that you want to learn. So for example, in my case, it's Polish and I'm gonna paste in a sentence or I can write in a sentence. I've just copied this sentence from a text. And obviously what I do here is choose the language I want to translate into, which in my case is English. Now we're not actually gonna necessarily use the translations, but the most important thing to understand is that once you've got your translation and you've got your sentence, what you can do is click on this button here and that will save the sentence. Now that's not the magic button, but it is important because if you wanna see all of the saved sentences that you've got, or the saved words that you've got, you click on saved and suddenly you will get a list here on the right hand side of all the current sentences that you're trying to save. Now let me show you then how the magic button works. Now I've got about 15 words here in total. There's one page here and if I click here, I've actually got a few more on the next page. Now the magic button is here. Just click on this button here and then you have to click again and that will import the words into Google Sheets and it will give you a list of all of the words that you have saved. Now, there's one little thing you need to do and then we can connect this to three or many different technologies, but I'm gonna show you three examples. Just pull out the side here to make the margins bigger so we can see all of the words. Now what we can do is we can copy these. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all of these words into Quizlet and generate study cards in Quizlet. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these cards. So I'm just gonna hold my mouse down, select these two rows. I don't need the other rows, just those two. And then I'm gonna right click and copy. Now I'm gonna come over to Quizlet and I'm gonna click here, I'm using the free tool, I'm gonna to click on create, and I'm gonna click on create flashcard set. Close that down, and all I need to do is click on this import button here, and paste in, so I'm gonna right click or just press and paste in all of those words. And now I want you to click on import, and suddenly you've got yourself a complete set of Quizlet cards. Now there's a couple of interesting settings and just one tip I'm gonna give you to make this work perfectly. So first the tip, just click on the first card and what happens is it picks up the language. And you can see now I've got English here and if we look here, if we click now you'll see that it's got Polish here. Now the other thing is of course, give it a title. So I'm gonna call this words for 27th March, okay, which is something I often do. And then all you wanna do is click on the button create. And that will create the cards for you. All the cards will be now created. Now if you wanna play these games, then the one I'm gonna play is flashcards. Just click on it. And what I would suggest you do is you come over to the settings by clicking over here and just making sure that you turn on the audio. It's a really good idea to have the audio. So make sure that you've got the audio turned on. So you wanna click on text to speech, okay? And what I actually do is I click on the advanced button and I turn off the English. So I obviously I wanna hear the words in Polish, but I don't need to hear the English words. So I turn them off. Now, once you've done that, just click away. And you should find now, if you start playing the game, that you're gonna get both the, or you're gonna get the, hear the, see the English and then hear the Polish. When I study, I like to see the Polish first and then try to work out what it is in English. So I'm just gonna click again on the settings and just turn it back so that Polish 
is at the front. So let's give it a quick test and see if it works. So I'll click on the next word. Nastavenie do życia. And then don't forget, if I click here, I can turn it over and check whether I got the sentence right. Next one. Lub zniszczone. Okay, so, or destroyed. Correct. Next one. Nie zgłosiła 460 batonów. Hidden or didn't declare 460 bars of chocolate. Okay, very good. So in this second example, we're not even going to use the translations. We're just going to take the Polish sentences and I'm going to put it into a pronunciation tool that will allow me to listen to the pronunciation of the words and practice them. This is fantastic because the tool that I'm going to show you is also free. Don't forget, if you like the video, please click on like. I really need all the support I possibly can get from my YouTube channel. Let's look at this second idea. So this is absolutely amazing because we can just, I'm just going to select all of those words here. Now, obviously I'm learning Polish, so I'm going to do this in Polish, but this will work in multiple, multiple languages. And the technology that we're going to use is called Natural Readers, naturalreaders.com. Now, when you log on, you don't even need to actually sign in. When you come to this page, just click on Get Started and click on Personal. And it's going to open up a transcription on the screen. I want you to close that down, paste in your text, whatever it is, and then you need to come up to here and choose your language. Now, you've got tons and tons of languages that you can choose from. And if you look here, I can choose from all sorts of different languages. But in my case, the language that I'm working with is Polish. So I'm just going to come down to P for Polish, click on that, then I can choose a voice. I use Marek. I'm going to click on that and click away and you just click on this button here and what's going to happen is it's going to read out the text for you. You could then repeat and listen and also it highlights the word. So what's this? I'm just going to click and show you. Czyli jest to równowartość 76 zł za sztukę. I can press pause and then if I wanted to carry on. Czyli jest to równowartość 76 zł za sztukę. Nastawienie do życia. Lub zniszczone. Lub niszczone. Lub zniszczone. Nie zgłosiła 460 batonów. Okay, and I can practice the pronunciation. This is a brilliant tool and I really like the way it highlights the words that it's reading out. Okay, really hope you're finding the video useful. If you are, of course, please click on the like button. It's really going to help me. I'm going to show you now another idea where I'm going to connect Google Translate to WordWall. Now, WordWall is one of the, in my opinion, one of the best language learning apps for teachers and students on the internet. It's got more than 30 games. It's brilliant for learning languages. If you don't know WordWall and you want to learn more about it, then I'll put a video on the screen that you can watch now that will go through it in more detail. But I'm only going to show you one activity now, but I just want to show you how easily the two technologies can connect together. Let's take a look. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to select the first lot of words rather than do a translation. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come over to wordwall.net and I'm going to click on create activity. Now you can see that there's tons and tons of activities that we can create. This really is a fabulous tool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the one complete the sentences. And now I'm going to paste in all of those sentences. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a gap fill activity. So I'm going to choose for example, that word there, okay, Rusno Vartosch, and I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click on this one here, Nastavienie do Zicia, and I'm basically creating gap fill activities so that I'm kind of practicing all the key words that I want to learn here in these sentences. Now, I won't do any more, but I'm just adding the gaps. Uh, in the activities. Now I'd need to carry on and do all the sentences, okay, and take one word out of each of the sentences. But once I finish that, all I would do is click on done. And I'm going to show you how the game looks. So if I was to click on this game now, as you can see, I've got these words here. I've got the sentences here. Let me go full screen. And all I've got to do now is to try to put the right word in. So it's basically a gap fill activity. So I would put, for example, that one there, and then this one would go here, and this one would be here, and this last and this last one would be here. So then what I would do obviously is submit my answers and hopefully I got them all right. So this is a great way again of connecting Google Translate to um, uh, other tools. 
Okay, so really hope you liked that video. And if you wanna learn more about Google Translate and the things that we can do with it, watch the video that's on the screen now. I take the whole idea even further and I connected some other brilliant free technologies. Okay, really hope you liked the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.